To better understand what rolfing is and how it can help you, you have to know a little bit about fascia because rolfing works with the fascia. Fascia is the body's connective tissue. And when I say connective, I really mean connective. It's what connects everything together and holds everything in place. Without it, we'd be like a jar of jelly. Maybe without the jar. In other words, fascia not only holds the bones together, it holds the bone together. Without the fascia, the bone would just be crumbled bone dust. Let me show you what I mean. Let's make a muscle. What can we use? I know, some Twizzlers. And how about some clear route? See, the Twizzlers will represent each individual muscle cells. These cells are called muscle fibers. Each fiber is wrapped with fascia, which holds the muscle in place. The fascia is called the endomycium. A group of these joined together will make up a muscle fascicle. This grouping is wrapped in fascia called perimycium. And more of these fascicles wrap together in the fascia known as epimycium, and you have a muscle. When you take the muscle cells out, you have a pretty good visual of what is left and how deep and extensive the fascia is. Eating the muscle fiber? Eh, that's just an added bonus. Let's take this a step farther. On each end of the muscle, the fascia blends together and becomes a tendon. Yep, tendons are fascia. Tendons join muscle to the bone. Now, tendons join the muscle to the bones by integrating them into the bone. How? By fascia. They become one piece with the bone by joining to the fascia layer that holds the bone together. This can go on and on and on because fascia wraps around and through and holds everything together in the body in place. Truly connective tissue of the body. Fascia is a strong fibrous tissue and acts as a support system and spacer for the entire body. Healthy fascia is very flexible, elastic, and resilient, but many times it can be overcome by injuries, trauma, illness, and even gravity, which can cause imbalances in the body. When this happens, the fascia will become dense and unresilient and cannot move in the way it should. Now, fascia is not the bad guy. It's only trying to protect you from further injury by building stronger resistance against what you might throw at it next. In most cases, the body really knows how to protect itself, but it doesn't always know that it can let go. So fascia can be protecting an area long after the injury is healed. Fascia can become so tight and unmovable that it can begin to pull bones and other parts of the body out of place, which as you probably guess, can be very uncomfortable. This is how Rolfing Structural Integration can help. By releasing fascia in the areas that are unbalanced and allowing your body to find its place of organization again.